those are uh, those are community gadgets made by uh, Olafonte. Uh, so so is your rank like Battle Garega, your items collected, your, the drop order in your metal chain. Uh, very helpful. <laughs> Just like in Garega, you're you're trying to manage the rank system to make the game playable. So like intentional suicides and not powering up too much at the beginning. Just give me one sec. I'll be back at it with another credit in like a minute, minute and a half. I'm back. Uh, so if you want the uh, the gadgets, uh, the Shmup Chumps Reddit, uh, subreddit, in the wiki, uh, there's a link to all of them. And it's super simple. You just drag and drop it into your main file. Uh, the artwork file, I mean. You got them for uh, this, Abara, uh, Garega, and Batrider. Yeah, super simple. It also gives you like the uh, the ideal uh, CPU speed and blitter settings for those games, so you can have accurate slowdown. Well, as close to accurate as as you can get on main. No, there's no run ahead. The input lag feels actually perfectly fine. I want to say it's PCB accurate, but you can you can have run ahead if you want. Especially if you go on like uh, Retro Arch, you can do full uh, full run ahead. Now input lag feels great. A little sensitive to that stuff. Uh, I, I want to say they added a run. They they added run ahead support, but I don't I don't think you can like just instantly turn it on. Besides, just like a single frame. Uh, but if you run the main core on Retro Arch, you can put it to as many frames as you want, or you can use Shmup main. Uh, Shmup main has uh, built-in run ahead. Yeah, this this one is definitely not a traditional cave game. It is more like uh, a Ryzen title, to be honest.
super fucking cool, just a little, a little, a little more complex than just the uh, damn Maku. As far as just like your general routing strategy, it's not just positioning; it's a lot of resource management. All right, that's my max metal chain. I'm gonna try to keep the metal chain as long as possible, then just stop collecting it once it maxes out. Unless I drop it. But I've already done it with the uh, the player two ship, so I'm using the player one ship, which is like a straight shot, much faster. And there goes the metal chain. Fucking dropped it. I messed it up. I keep messing that up with the ship. It's too fast. Going around, uh, not collecting the metals. Thanks, Mighty. Yeah, don't play cave. Don't don't play uh, the Windows Mode forces V sync. I want to say, unless you unless you change it. I never play Windows Mode windowed mode unless I have to. Like uh, Crimson Clover, I have to play in windowed mode. Plus the game doesn't run. This doesn't run right. So my general strat is to suicide twice before I get my first extend, and then just keep doing that until around like stages four and five. End of stage four, or stage five, depending on the on my rank and shit. Don't want to pick that up. I don't think I've ever been killed there by the Zaku. They just got through my shot. Too many napalms. Not enough Daka. <laughs> Back to the art for the uh, uh, for the gadgets. He's just fucking around with you. I think they're technically M3 gadgets, as Olafonte called them. Yeah, I saw I saw the ones you see on the Mushi. Congrats, man. No, you're struggling with that. Uh, that's next on my list. I'm trying to 1cc every cave game. A little more than halfway done now, but I haven't played any of the Mushi games yet. And I could move on to a different game since I've already cleared this one, but I want to do it with the uh, the player one ship. This game is just—it's just a fucking good game. 
Then there's the uh, the black label arrange. I'll probably do after. Oh. And probably on the Mushi. That or uh, Go Don Pachi DFK. So I have both of those on Steam already and never actually played them. So might as well. Yeah, that was, that adrenaline dump is, uh, that was a lot of fun afterwards. Yeah, I was working on this one for a bit and just kept having bad reset health. I was finally able to snag the 1cc yesterday. Well, this game wasn't very uh, popular in arcades. Like, not a whole lot of people actually played this game still. They did a whole, like, uh, the Black Label range makes it more like a cave game. Like, more bolt heli. Uh, but even then, not many people even bothered. It's very obtuse. I think the, uh, the, the player base that was looking for this kind of shmup just kept playing Battle Garega and uh, Batrider. I would assume since they're still playing those fucking games. I think it's a lot of fun. So the bomb for this ship actually, or for the Type B, doesn't seem like it's very, uh, very good for defense. Special. Oh, it made my options spinny. Lovely. I didn't mean to do that. I gotta replace that now, because that just makes my option useless. Did not want spinny options. Who the fuck wants spinny options? Yagawa. Genuinely likes the spinny options. Maybe, maybe one part in Battle Garega, but that's optional. You just switch it off right away. This one, you're stuck with it. So. I got my metal chain going, so that's good. Just gotta keep it. The, Crim the Crimson Clover re-release on Steam is literally, like, the best version ever of that game. It's just, uh... Has some like compatibility issues if you're not you just gotta like do a bunch of tweaking for the resolution and shit, get it to run stable. 59 point whatever FPS. Now I need to hold on as long as possible until I die. And there's Hadu gun the last phase. But I'm planning to die twice before my, uh, my first extend anyways, so might as well just suicide here. No more spinning option. All done with that. Strategic withdrawal.
Save my mom's. Yeah, no, the game looks good. It just needs, like, a good filter or played on a CRT. Like, I have a... spent a lot of time tweaking the filter just to make the game look right. Definitely needs something on top of it. But it's very good art design. It's chunky. Suicide before I get my first extend, because that's about to happen in just a second. Then I'm at max bombs. So I don't want to collect excess bombs, that's going to raise the rank a shit ton. Should take care of the mid boss immediately. There it goes. And I got my metal chain. All that matters. Big juicy roses. This fucker. Make sure I'm at 30 hertz. Or 15 hertz. Get one more on the right. Oh, my metal chain dropped. I didn't see the. I didn't even see where it dropped. Whatever. I don't need it. Guess I got a little bit. Move them down the center. Stage 3 loss, which I can just bomb. Get my Hadou gun ready. And just hit her immediately. And miss the Hadou gun. Lovely. I was good anyways because I got my extend super early. Uh, the PlayStation 2 port is in 480i, which is why it looks bad. I want to say it's 480p, it's native, native resolution. So I can actually suicide one more time before the, uh, uh the mid boss. I can extend off that. And the less lives I have in stock when I lose one, the lower the dynamic difficulty. So I want to always suicide with uh, only one extra life in stock. It'll like half the rank decrease if I don't. Yep, here's that mid boss. Just need to bomb it immediately. Finish it. That'll drop the extend. It took off both the wings. I'm back in it. Try to keep this life as long as possible. And get a bunch of bombs.
Die. Perfect. All right, second to last stage. Yeah, Pink, Pink, uh, Pink Sweets is the sequel to this, but it's also a more direct sequel to fucking Rekka than anything on the NES. Bomb. Second to last stage, gotta focus here. Turn that 30 hertz. A little pos positioned a little bad there. Okay. I just need to make sure I'm out of full bomb. I can't just like half bomb that uh that fucker. That's not gonna work. Make sure it hurts. No room to get an extra extend, I don't think. Just gotta keep... What's up? Special power. All right, last stage. I need to get more DACA, so I'm just going to fucking get some cruising options, or spread options. Just got to watch out for the Zaka spawning. Get as many fucking bombs as possible here. Fuck, what did I get hit by there? Oh, something stupid. There's my DACA.
Here we go. Last boss. With and one CC with Bond. That was what, like under 20 credits trying with this ship? Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> what a fun fucking game. <laughs> Yeah, no, Hadu, it, it's just Rekka. You just bomb the patterns. Don't dodge the patterns. Just bomb the patterns. What's up, Mishi? Yeah, what a cool fucking game. People, people need to play this one more, especially if, uh, if you're a fan of Garega. This is... It scratches the same itch. I would say this is easier than Grega. The rank system's a little more brutal, but if you manage that, you you don't have to deal with a, a black heart or a glow squid. I mean, you don't really even have to dodge anything like uh, too crazy as far as like boss patterns go. If you do, you're kind of fucked up. It's very fun, but you kind of fucked up your route unless you're like going for score. score than last time too well uh that was that was fun Let's see if uh, anyone else is playing anything right now send them send them some uh, 1cc energy shit I accidentally got off my Stream, so I don't think I see any comments on this. Who's playing right now? Oh, we gotta send Chinopolis. Uh, he's playing Batrider, trying to do clear every single boss in uh, Batrider. So, uh, send him good Yagawa 1cc vibes. Because he, he needs moral support. He died on the last boss just like yesterday, so he's super close to clearing. Just needs, uh. Just needs some support.
But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, thanks for uh, stopping by, Two Tone. Really glad you were able to get your uh, one CC. I know you were in quite the uh, quite the grind yesterday. But yeah, take it easy, y'all. Probably be back with more uh, more Abara. <laughs> Peace.